Okay, I'm making a video on uh, how to remove the impeller drive shaft on an A.O. Smith or Myers um, two and a half, like it says right there, two and a half horsepower pump. Um, it's actually pretty pretty easy, actually. Um, for the most part, what you'll need is a flathead screwdriver, an 11 millimeter wrench, and unless you had to make some modifications like I did to this pump, and uh, a quarter inch nut driver will be your uh, will be your friend. Um, okay, so here we go on the removal of this. Uh, got a quarter inch nut driver on the end of this. This off. Quarter inch nut driver here. Or... Okay, so... so then we will take and pull these off. The start capacitor. This one's actually a new start capacitor, so I'll reuse that. Probably gonna need a new switch eventually, but do the same here. Pull these clips off. want that out of the way so you have more room to work and then what I <coughs> did the last time building this is uh, you just pop these springs off this guy here in the center you want some needle nose here to get these off oh, if I can get on there There's one. And the second one's way easier once you get one off. Okay. That's out of the way. Just take this, pry it. You'll want to go back later when you're reassembling. And uh, put um, this on, or you want to clamp these two together with your vice grips. But then you need, so usually what's on the end of this, this bolt here, is a uh, um, or the end of this uh, your impeller drive shaft is a, a, a straight um, you know a straight screwdriver uh, just a little pin then you got to come in from the side with your 11 millimeter I want to turn this guy get it lined up I usually like to have this oh. Lined up. There it is. Over here. And um, then that's a seven sixteenths. Just loosen this bolt I put in here. Must have used a socket on this last time. This being way easier, but like I said, on your pump, this will be a uh, lot easier because it'll just be a screwdriver you'll put on the end of this, and then you can. Because what happened was, I ended up boogering this up last when I was rebuilding this. I kind of an idiot thought I had something on strong enough to protect the end of this drive shaft when I was pulling the bearing off, wasn't using a slide hammer, which you should. Um, I'd recommend, if you can, just go and rent the, a tool from O'Reilly's, uh, the slide hammer with the bearing puller, uh, 
so that you can use it in conjunction with one another. It'll cost you about a hundred, I think it was 109 bucks to rent that, but then obviously you get it, <coughs> you get it refunded once you bring it back. But, uh, yeah, don't use a bearing puller on the end of this. Um, one, one of the ones that drives down, um, essentially I have, you know, this, this bearing puller here and, um, it's on the slide hammer right now, but this usually goes in here instead. And that's what I messed up. Um, nut driver here. You've got to loosen these. There's four of them. For some reason, I lost one. I'm going to do a better job rebuilding this one next time. But there's four of these. Um, long, long, uh, quarter inch hex head, uh, bolts on here. Okay, now that you got those four bolts out of the way. Should lift up. Oh yeah, for getting it back together. Um, the ed this edge, see this is what broke on this one when I was trying to put it back in. But to get this apart, or to get this back together, just want to make sure um, these notches here uh, line up on the bottom. And um, obviously from the top, uh, the uh, this is kind of like your center point. Um, right here, and you just want to line it up with that sticker, kind of. Um, and then, this whole thing, now that I got those bolts out, should just kind of pop off here. So, loosen that just a tiny bit. Now, that I got that loosened, this whole piece just lifts right off. And then that's how you get to that bearing. Um, there's just a little uh, protector on that. And yeah, see this bearing's good. Um, and if it was bad, like you see, like I have in my other video, it, this literally would not spin. This thing was a paperweight. Here's, here's, uh, that one I messed up from the start capacitor. Just replacing the start capacitor, not replacing the bearing. Um, but yeah, this literally will not spin. And that's why that slide hammer is so handy in getting those off, because you won't booger up the end of this drive shaft like I didn't have to drill it and then tap it out. Um, okay, so got that off. Now, to get uh, this impeller off, Mine was, whew, thank God, it was still loose enough I can just get off by hand. Um, but what happens is when this runs tight in here, this thing will, um, because it, when it's spinning, this thing will, tightens because it spins the opposite way it tightens. Um, even though it comes off just like a jar of peanut butter, you know, lefty-loosey, like typical. Um, it's not, surprise, surprise, it's not that easy um, when it comes to actually taking that thing, <coughs> taking that thing apart and putting it back on, so, minor correction, it loosens the way it, the opposite way it spins. Yep, there you go, popped right off. So, here's my broken piece, take this off, you can either use the quarter inch nut driver or a screwdriver. Um, quarter inch nut driver, it looks like it is. Bam. I love these quarter inch nut drivers because they're also magna magnetic. So that is very handy. And take a dead blow to this. Oh, she 
be out. Okay, and then you can actually access that bearing too. That's how you get to that one. Um, and just a little, just a little snap ring right there. Slide hammer this guy off too if you can. Make your life a whole lot, whole lot easier. All right, and that's how you get this thing apart. Um, hopefully you saw that. Yeah, just snap ring that off there. And yeah, when you're putting this on, um, you can see where these long bolts go through. Um, you know, when they come through from the, uh, uh, when this thing's put together, you just come in here and tighten, and that's what holds this on. So, can't get this off without taking these bol these long bolts out. But, yeah. I can get fine find a replacement for this piece. Hey, if this helped add value to your life, feel free to like and please subscribe. Thanks.